Hey, welcome to T-Minus 7, Truth in Less Than 7 Minutes. And today, we're going to talk about faithing. And Joel, you want to talk about faithing. Isn't that the deal where they're saying it's causing cancer now and they're trying to make that illegal? Yeah, so it's really important that we make sure that we stop using faithing. It's, it's <laughs> causing, yeah, no. Uh, so faithing is this idea that uh, I went I went to a conference a while back in Chicago, and, and this uh, gentleman that was there, he talked about this idea, and it really affected my life, and it kind of taught me a new way of thinking about how I uh, disciple, how I... Uh, look at other people and how I use my faith. Okay. Right. So the basically the idea is that I know that faith is a noun. It's it's a right. person, place, or thing. Right. And the way that I like to think about it that helps me process that in culture is by saying faithing. Am I faithing? Am I using faith as a verb? Am I using it? Am I doing it? Is it something right. that I that I use and have? So uh, some things that I think about with it is I go to. Um, Romans 12, uh, verses 3 through 8. So we have, you know, if you serve, if you prophesy, mm-hmm. if you do anything that you have, you do it with this faith that God has given you. Right. There's a faith that you have and you use it. So we know that the definition of faith that we usually get from is Hebrews 11, 1, where it's the, the substance of uh, the evidence of things hoped for, right? Yep. So it's this thing that you have. It's something that God has given yep. you. And then what do you do with it? Because oftentimes I feel like we use faith as an adjective, it's describing something like I have faith, hope, and love, and right, right. I feel special, and I've got my feelings, and they're really great, and I'm so I even feel if faith. it's uh, substance and evidence, I gotta have substance of faith in my heart, but it might not change my behavior. Right. So it's it's kind of taking that concept of uh, you know faith without works yeah. is dead, that whole idea, uh, but taking it to a different step. So I think about um, Peter, right? Yeah. So Peter, when they're in, when Jesus goes out into the garden, and then all the guards and Judas come up and. Uh, Jesus is getting arrested, and Peter, instead of seeing what's going on, recognizing what's happening, given all the experiences that he's had with Christ, he chops off a dude's ear. <laughs> Which and, is that, that's not faithing. Right, that is not faithing, <laughs> because what does Jesus say to him after? Jesus says that you are not seeing the things that must be done. Mm. Something along those lines, I'm probably yeah. misquoting Jesus, yeah. I'm sorry Jesus, but <laughs> the point is, is that Jesus references, like, this is something that has to happen, right. and you're so caught up and how you understand this moment that you're not seeing with your faith, the way that I've taught you to see things, yeah. the way that I want you to work with things. So what if faith was a verb then for us, right? So what if it was a verb, it was something we did versus something we have and we hold on to and we don't do anything with and we don't think about. I think it would cause us to see things the way that Jesus wants us to see things. Um, you know, most of our situations that we can think of, a lot of us think like negatively, we think about economy, or we think about the government, or we think about even the church. Right. And everything comes down to a pretty, uh, you know, a stark reality, I would say. Most people, when they describe it, the church doesn't do things the way I want it to. The government doesn't do things the way I want it to. People don't so act the way I want to. So how would faithing interact with that? So if you're faithing, that means that when we talked about a while, like a long time ago, I think at this point, where we talked about, and now say that positively. Right. 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 Faithing would be, when you look at the church... How is God using it? What is God going to do with it that's going to change the world? Is your job to make the church do a thing or is your job to disciple other people, to follow the teachings of Christ, to walk more closely with him, to see things the way he sees them? Yeah. You know, you're frustrated with your family, your kids at home, you're frustrated with the government economy, whatever it is for you. Are you taking the things that God has put in front of your life, and are you trying to control and use them and then say, I believe in God as well? Okay, so I'm thinking of two different kind of uh, lenses here. One is something happens to me, and I'm going to use faithing to navigate what I do next. So I lost my job, or uh, a friend abandoned me, or I got falsely accused by something, or, you know, something happened to me. Yeah. And I'm going to I'm gonna use faithing to navigate that. Am I using that right? Yeah. And then the other deal is, well, I'm frustrated with uh, an organization or the way the world is or um, the way somebody else behaved. I'm going to use faithing in that way. Is that, am I tracking with you? Yeah. I think that using it in the sense of like, if, if I'm in an argument with someone and we are just not seeing eye to eye yeah. and I want to stop and use my faith to see that person the way that God sees them. Otherwise, I might be chopping their ear off. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Trying to get what I want done, how I see the world should work, and how I think that things should work and happen and operate, instead of me taking the time to see things the way God has seen them, and He has equipped so, me to see them. Yeah, so can you give me, you said this has been messing with you for a while, mm-hmm. can you give me a scenario where you recognize this moment and you started faithing? Can you have, do you have a like a 
an actual example from your life that you're willing to share? Yeah, I think that... That's a personal uh, question. I'm I, asking you without any... <laughs> it's fine. No, but, I have I have uh, a few in my life. You know, uh, one is when, when I moved to Washington. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we had come to kind of a conclusion in our lives in Texas that we, that we weren't moving forward. We weren't doing anything effectively right. for the kingdom of God. And, um, God made it clear that we needed to make a change and, you know, it didn't matter where we went. We both, me and my wife both agreed on that. It didn't matter where we went. We know that we needed to go somewhere that we felt that that's what God wanted. And there was no real realistic way that we were going to be able to do that, but because we chose to set that path forward and we walked on that path and we and we kind of fought for it, worked hard at it, and uh, God made a hundred percent of the way for us, and, and then some. It was pretty amazing. We actually went in during that time. We found out we were like ten thousand or so dollars in debt during that time. We decided we were moving and everything. Right. We found out we had owed all this money, and God completely covered all of it. Wow! All of it. Wow! Uh, and then some. It was pretty amazing. Which was really Him multiplying your faithing activity because. You know, you kind of took the first step there. Okay, God, I hear you. I'm going to move toward you. Then this debt shows up. I remember you you guys were socking away cash like crazy yeah. <laughs> for this mission that you felt like God was calling you on. So that required faithing. Yep. So that's that's kind of how you would use that word. Yeah. And I understand it's not a perfect concept. I understand it's not. It's just a way to think about it that might help you. Uh, operate more, that might help you operate more, uh, not just Jim, but <laughs> all of us, <laughs> to operate more uh, in a way that God would ask us to in any yeah, situation. so I, I hear it in my head as a self-question. Hey, man, are you faithing right now, yeah. or are you reacting? Are you... Trying to take control? Yeah. Trying yeah. to own the situation? Are you falling underwater when God asks you to come out, yeah. you know? Are you yeah. focusing on Him? Are you focused on what He's asked you to do? Are you seeing the situation, even though it looks bad, right? right? Getting arrested isn't Through cool. Through a different lens. But... Mm-hmm. How would God ask you to see it? Yeah. Probably, obviously, he doesn't want you to chop people's ears off. Right, right. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, I hope this helps you not to cut someone's ear off yeah. <laughs> and to start faithing the next time you're challenged. As always, we want to thank you for watching. Uh, click the little bell up there so you can always know when there's a notification that we've got another video out. Uh, share this with a friend. Thanks for watching. Man, have a great day. <laughs>